Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jack Wood and I just like to make stuff. This is episode 5 of my sailboat build and in today's episode I'm going to be fabulousing the whole boat. As you can see, it's in the background and it's looking pretty good, but I have a bunch of other videos coming out for you guys. So in the last video, the top commenter was C64E, so you can go check out his channel down below if they have one. But if you guys want to get a shout out, just leave a comment and if your comment gets the most likes, I'll shout you out. I also want to let you guys know that I started a Patreon, so if you guys want to help support the boat build, you can go check it out down in the description below. So with that, let's get into the video. Alright, so now it's time to fiberglass the boat. We just have 6 ounce fiberglass and we're just going to cover the whole boat with it. And since the fiberglass will be draping over the side of the boat, we have to raise it a little bit right here. So I just have some wood blocks to do that. Quickly, I would just like to note that I've never worked with fiberglass in my life before. I've watched a few tutorials on YouTube regarding the correct and best way to apply it, but do not watch this video if you're looking for a tutorial. I pretty much show you guys the process of how I laid and epoxied my boat. Alright, so now that both sides of the boat are fiberglass, uh, we're just going to add one strip down the center and then we'll start adding the epoxy. We want to build another boat in the future, so if you guys have any tips or tricks regarding laying and epoxying fiberglass, let me know down in the comments below. Alright, so it's the next day and it is finally time to add the epoxy to the fiberglass. I would have done this last night, but the weather got way too cold and it was about 20 degrees cooler than recommended for the epoxy. So today I'm finally going to do that, which is it's around 8 degrees, which is perfect. So what I've done is I've let the epoxy sit in the sun for about half an hour and I've just been preparing the boat for the epoxy. So yeah, I'm just gonna add it. Also, my fiberglass sling skills are not the best because this is the first boat I'm building so I don't care if you criticize me in the comments because I'm doing it how I wanna do it. So what I'm basically gonna do is once this is all epoxied, I'm gonna go back and add a lot more fiberglass here and in the transom. You can see that I'm using polyester resin to kick off the epoxying process. Even though polyester resin is a lot cheaper and dries a lot quicker than epoxy resin, it is weaker. It's not recommended to use when fiberglassing the whole of a boat, especially if you want it to last for a while without any future problems. To fit my budget, I started with polyester resin, then I covered the entire boat with a layer of epoxy resin. Okay, so I put on the first coat of fiberglass. It worked really well right here. But as you can see, it's a little like jello-like right here and it looks horrible right here. Um, I'm pretty sure I added too much hardener so it cured way too quickly, which I should have had like an hour of working time. But that is my one big mistake that I'm gonna now try to avoid, so I'm gonna add less hardener. But if this ever happens to you guys, you can simply just sand this off and of course add more um, polyester and fiberglass. Of course, this is just the first coat of fiberglass I'm gonna be adding too, so it's gonna look way better than it is right now, but it's a, just a little mess up that you, 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 just, you just have to deal with it. But uh, learn from my mistakes to remix the correct ratio of resin and hardener. Now what I'm gonna do is try to do the transom area and all around here and just avoid this area until it dries so I can sand it and add some more polyester resin. Okay, so I just added a, another coat of epoxy and this time I added a lot less hardener and I poured the whole cup on at once and spread it around as fast as I could and it's looking pretty good so this is how I'm going to finish epoxying or adding epoxy to the boat. Adding epoxy to fiberglass, there are a few ways to do it. I used a foam roller to spread and push the epoxy into the fiberglass. You can also use a card scraper to spread the epoxy all over the fiberglass which will help allow it to soak in. Here you can see me cutting the fiberglass. I'm calling this a relief point because it helps me smooth out the fiberglass. So now that the starboard side and the bottom of the hull have been fiberglassed, it's now to finish off and do the port side. But this time I've learned from my mistakes and I worked too quickly with the fiberglass on the starboard side. So I just have a lot of work to do to go back and fix this. I also have a lot of work to do to go back and fix all this uh, my mess up that happened right here because the epoxy cured too quickly. So I'm pretty sure you can see some like bumps and some bad spots, but that shouldn't be too bad. Add some more epoxy to uh, cover this fiberglass and then I just gotta sand it. And yeah, I just got a lot more work to do. But today we're gonna finish uh, fiberglassing the boat with the first layer. And then I'm waiting on a new shipment of epoxy to get the second layer done. 
With a quick edit, I finally got my shipment of epoxy. With the port side, I tried my best to evenly apply the epoxy without creating any major bubbles in the fiberglass. I think that this side looks way better than the starboard side, but to be honest, I don't really care how it comes out. I really just want to get her in the water at this point. All right, so now that I got the port side done, what I have to do is there are some spots such as a transom, um, some fiberglass didn't reach all the way around, so I have some scrap fiberglass over there. So what I'm gonna do is just fill up these uh, gaps right here. On the starboard side, the worst side that I did, um, I had some spots that bubbled up, so what I did was I just cut those out and I have some fiberglass tape that I'm just gonna use to patch these holes. And then all I gotta do left is finish up the bow of the boat and add some fiberglass right here. And then it's ready for the second coat of fiberglass. So instead of me showing you guys what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna be doing to fill up these gaps up here, it's kinda self-explanatory. I'm just gonna be sanding it and adding more fiberglass and epoxy. Same to uh, these holes and to the transom back there. So I'm just gonna do a quick jump edit to the finished hole and then we'll flip her over and do the deck. All right, so the boat has been completely fiberglassed with two layers and it's looking pretty good. For you guys, that edit probably was a few seconds, but for me, it was about two weeks of work and I think it turned out pretty good. You guys may be able to notice that there are some more green spots. With the first layer of fiberglass, those were some bumps, so I just cut them out and I filled them and now they are feeling pretty smooth and the whole boat in general just it looks pretty good. So now the next step is to, I need to trim off all the extra fiberglass and then in some spots I'm gonna add a little bit more epoxy and then today my friends and I were gonna flip it over again so we can start fiberglassing the deck and the cabin area and the cockpit and all that. So I'll get to work trimming and then I'll add some more epoxy. I would also like to mention that I have lost my tripod, so some angles may be pretty bad until I get my new one, but hopefully that won't discourage you guys from clicking off the video. But now I got this side cleaned up, I'm gonna head over to this side and clean it up, and then I'm just gonna add epoxy to the bottom of the hole, just because later on I'll be able to add more to the port and starboard size when we flip it over. All right, so I'm changing my mind and I'm not adding another layer of fiberglass to the bottom of the hole. I'm doing this because I just went over and inspected and looked over the hole and it looks pretty well sealed. Also, I don't think I have enough time for the epoxy to drive over my friends get here to flip it over. But down the line when I like, when I start painting it, I can always add another layer of epoxy, which is probably what I'm gonna do. And also if you're thinking that it looks wet, don't worry, it's just the epoxy. I, I don't know why it looks this, but it's, fully cured and it's feeling pretty strong. So now we're uh, just gonna flip it over. With the old stand, I'm adding some rags to help protect the fiberglass from scratches or any damages that may occur. I also just really wanna thank my friends. They all have been a huge help during the construction of the sailboat. All right, so now that the boat has been successfully flipped once again, now it's time to start filling all these major gaps with more fairing compound and just finishing up the surface of the decking and cockpit in preparation for the fiberglass. All right, so before I fill all these gaps, I just cut out a hole for where the mast is gonna be and I put the mast in and I think it is way too tall for this boat. So the boat's only 15 feet long, but the mast is 22 feet, six inches. I can't even get the whole thing in frame, but I just, I think it's too big. So what I'm planning on doing is up there by that uh, like jib line, I'm probably gonna cut it and shorten it by about six feet or so. But I just wanted to see what it looked like with the, with the mast on it. And it is obviously way too tall. So that, that'll be another project, but this is just what it looks like for you guys. 
All right, so I took the mast out and off camera I did a little bit of work. It wasn't too interesting. All I pretty much did was I added some more of this compound or this wood filler or this filler. If you wanna know what type of filler I'm using, it's this Bondo all-purpose putty, but I also use like the automobile type. It, it works the same. It's just all gonna get covered in fiberglass. So pretty much what I did was I made everything smooth and it feels pretty good. Then I went back and I added a little bit of fiberglass to all the major weak points and I just, I'm still letting that dry. But I didn't film this because it's all kind of self-explanatory. You just fill it, sand it, fill it, sand this more than add the fiberglass. But for you guys, I will film the cockpit part where I fill, sand, and fiberglass. And then hopefully today we'll be able to fiberglass the rest of the boat. Without the compound for the cockpit, I made a small template just out of cardboard. Alright, so once I got all the corners nice and uh, filled up with the compound, I'm now just sanding it with this palm sander. And I don't really think I need to film it, you kind of, you guys kind of get the gist of it. Sanding it smooth, preparing it for the fiberglass. So I'm just going to finish sanding this and then the next clip will be, uh, we'll just fiberglass the cockpit and we'll work our way forward. All right, so it is the next day and the epoxy for the cockpit has finally dried and it turned out looking pretty good. There are little to no bubbles in the fiberglass and it's all pretty smooth and I like how it looks. So now I have some extra fiberglass right here and I'm just gonna go around and re-support or reinforce some weaker spots that I think may cause some problems in the future such as right here, all along here and some parts up at the bow and then we can start fiberglassing the rest of the deck. All right, so before I add some reinforcements with this fiberglass, what I'm gonna do is just hand sand the whole boat and get it prepped for the fiberglass so I can use the epoxy efficiently and do it all in one step without having to epoxy, go back and sand and keep going back and forth. Okay, so now that the rest of the deck has been sanded smooth, we're gonna start with the bow and move our way back and start fiberglassing the rest of the deck. Fiberglassing the deck was pretty easy. With the help of my friend and my brother, we knocked it out pretty quickly and it turned out looking really good. The only challenge that we had was adding the epoxy for the walkways. The fiberglass kept moving and creating bubbles, but after some work, we were able to deal with it for the most part. Okay, so now that the walkways on the port and starboard side up to the bow of the boat are fiberglassed and the bow of the boat is fiberglassed, the last step is to fiberglass the top of the cabin and the side panels, but I have one small problem. I am almost out of my polyester resin, which is what I've been using to cover the whole boat and I don't have enough to finish the top of the cabin. So my solution is I have about a gallon of epoxy resin, which is great, but it takes about three times longer to dry. So I have to find a sunnier day and more daylight to fiberglass the top of the cabin. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace out the areas for the windows and I'm gonna fiberglass around them and fiberglass this small area on this side and that side in prep for the top of the fiberglass. And then on a Saturday or Sunday when I have more time, I will fiberglass this and finish that process. Moving on, my friends and I traced the windows and cut them out. Okay, so now that we got that traced out to clean up the corners, I'm just gonna take this solo cup and put it up against and trace that, trace a curve in it to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so now that we have the window traced out, I'm gonna take a drill and drill a hole in the corner so we could fit the jigsaw blade in to cut the rest of it out. Out, I'm gonna just trace it on the other side and we can cut that out and Chris, Christian can do what he wants with that yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
cutting out the windows wasn't too difficult. It took a few passes with a jigsaw to get a clean cut, but overall I liked how they turned out. All right, so that went better than expected and we got the first window cut out. Now we're gonna try our best to use the off cut and trace out the next window. So we'll do that right now. Starboard side, it was the exact same process. <laughs> Look at the blade. What it's happened? It's bent. How so now that the windows have been cut out, it is time to finish fiberglassing the top of the cabin. So what I've done is I've just prepped it and laid out all the fiberglass for the port side. But for the starboard side, we had a little bit of cracking right here. So I just added some more compound to make that solid. And then later on, I'm gonna go on the inside and add some compound in this crack right here. So that should secure even more. But what I'm gonna do right now is while this is drying, I'm gonna add the epoxy to the port side. Then I'll come back and epoxy the starboard side. And then to finish up the video, we'll just come back to the transom because it's looking pretty ugly. We'll fix this up, fiberglass it, and then that'll be it. So let's start epoxying. Like all the other epoxying clips from this video, the process is the exact same. The top cabin epoxy was laid down fairly quickly. There were a few bubbles, but they didn't bother me that much. In the future, they'll get fixed. So it has been a few days and the fiberglass is completely dry. So now I'm gonna go over all the extra fiberglass and just trim it with this box cutter or X-Acto blade. Okay, so now that I have trimmed the excess fiberglass off the window and the cabin entrance, it is time to finish up the transom and get it fiberglass before the float test. So as you can see, I already added some compound right here just to smooth some things out, but I have to go back and add a lot more. So I'll do that now and then I'll get a nice sheet of fiberglass to lay right here and I'll use up the rest of my epoxy to finish up the transom. Now that I have added the compound, it's time to sand this down and make it smooth and prep for the fiberglass. So this should only take about 15 minutes and then we can slap on the last piece of fiberglass and finish that step for this project. So now I've just draped the excess fiberglass that I have onto the transom and I'm just going to add the epoxy to get it nice and sealed and stuck on there. For me, the transom was the most difficult part of the boat to epoxy. I say this just because there are so many imperfections in the wood and the compound that later on I had to go back and add a lot more compound, fiberglass, and epoxy. So now the back of the transom has been completely fiberglassed and we are 100% done with fiberglassing the boat. Now this took a lot longer than I thought it would. It's almost dark outside, but we got it done and this should be fully cured at the end of tomorrow. So with that, this is the end of, to be honest, I don't know what part this is, but this is the end of this video. So if you guys made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. All your support means so much to me and I can't believe how much attention these boat videos are getting. It's amazing. Um, so part six will be posted in a week. Thanks for watching.